All right, welcome back. Um, if you have a look here, we've got some different fixing devices I was talking about before. So what I'm going to go through now is about the Hilti drills and the type of drills that you might use to drill through holes and walls for concrete and all that. You've got to remember too, Fix and Secure is about not just about drilling holes in the concrete and dyna bolts and all that. It's about nuts and bolts, right? It's talking about fixing secure, holding tin down, holding a bracket on a wall, nails into timber, um, cable clip clips, um, putting a, a mounting block up. So, for example, like this, a mounting block on concrete using green plugs, dyna bolts. All right. So, if you we zoom out, we can have a bit of a look. We've got. Now the two drills I got here, I've bought my big one in, so if you have a look at this, this is a large one used for more industrial type stuff. So if you have a look at this, this is probably the more expensive one that you would probably buy, and if you have a look it's quite a large drill. Um, this is not just for drilling for like these type of things in here, when you look, these are not designed to, I mean you can use a small drill bit, they do come down to a very small drill bit, right? But at the same time, you can buy this type up one over here, which will do most of the stuff if you're only doing a lot of small stuff. Um, this electric drill here, Bosch drill. Now this is a universal drill. I'll talk about this one first, then I'll move around to the other three, bigger, the other two bigger ones. So this is what they call a thousand watt um, normal domestic drill. It has a hammer action. So if you have a look up here, you have anti um, rotation. So you have hammer. So you have got hammer and normal drilling. So you would use that. Then you have your two speed. So high and low speed. Okay, and then you've got your keyless chuck. Most of the drill bits you would use for those are these type here that you buy from Bunk Bunnings. Now, if we come over here and have a look, we've got a few different sizes in tungsten. So, for example, that 6 mil would fit that drill bit there, 6.5. We have a few other different types. The little bit that sits in on the end here, which I'm going to show in all the drill bits, is the tungsten, right? That's what actually does all the work. If we didn't have that, this would just get chewed out in five seconds. A normal drill bit wouldn't last because a normal drill bit's only made of soft mild steel. It does cut through steel, but this is where the hammer action is. And as it's hammering around and hitting, it's actually vibrating. And then these, these flutes here take the dust out of the holes. So if we have a look, these are all the types that you would buy just for a normal drill bit. We've got a whole heap in here, all right, all different sizes. Um, but after a period of time, they do become blunt. You can't really sharpen them. Some people think putting a point on them will sharpen them. Um, for the amount of money you pay for these, it's just worth getting rid of and buying a new one. All right, so these type here, you would get, you would put into this drill here, put in, tighten up, and you would have your hammer action. So you make sure you have it on the low speed. Hammer is not about speed. The faster you go down here and spinning and trying to, trying to drill a hole at 200 mile an hour, the, this will get super hot and it will start to burn out and that's when it will start to melt or actually self-destruct. You want it on a very slow speed, so two, which is a low range, and hit it onto hammer. And the hammer actually ha ha causes a hammering action as you're going in. All right, so this can be used for domestic stuff and also used for hammering and drilling holes. Put it this way, you're not going to put a big drill bit like this in here. You might, the most you might put on the bigger hammer drill bit here is somewhere probably up to about a 10 mil. All right, so something like this one here. Uh, well, um, this size here. You wouldn't go any bigger with this type of drill up to about a 10 or 12 mil. Once past that, you start using these here. All right, so let's move in and have a look at these. These are a totally different drill bit. They have a keyway on the end, and they're specifically designed for this type of drill, the Dyna drill, right? They, are, they, they can sometimes get a universal one, which has the keyway cut in on the side here. They slot in, so what happens is this will pull back, you'll push this back, so as you push that in, that will slot in, find the keyway, and if you need to take it back out, you pull it back out, it does the same thing. So these are specifically designed for hammer drilling only. They're not used as a normal drill bit. All right, so you have these. You have the option of also putting, taking this part off and putting this in and creating a normal drill bit as well, coming back to this type over here. So this chuck will do the same thing as what this did over here, all right? But that's an optional lecture. And all it is is just a keyless chuck. All right, so this drill bit here, it's got a few bigger drill bits. You can see that comes up to the bigger size. The other thing is they don't have the length. They're only designed to go through, say, a normal domestic brick, all right, which might be about 100 mil, four inches deep, okay? All right, now if we move on to the next one over here, the one I bought in, this is a much bigger unit. It has rotation, it also has a chisel action. So if you have a look up here, you can actually use it. So if you look over here, it can actually be used like a little tiny um, jack pick as well. So we have a, dime, a, dime, a bit here. These bits are not designed to turn around in a circle, they just chisel and that's all they do, 
all right? Now, you can then use it as, as a hammer drill. These large bits here, which are quite expensive, you're probably looking at $150 for one of these. Why? Because it's got its length. Now, why would I use that? I might need to go through two or better bricks. So if you look through here, I might need to get through a big, thick wall, and this is what we use. And sometimes the width, we, reason we have them so big is we might want to put flexible conduit. So for this one here, now, if you notice, what's the difference between these ones? Can you see there's like an extra set of tips on the end here? All right, it just gives it an extra cutting action. So as it's chiseling, because it's got more surface area to cover, it actually has these two outer tips on the end. So we have the normal tungsten bit that sits on the end here, and then we have the two bits on the corner here. Now this one's like 20 mil, so what happens is if I drill this through a brick wall like this, right, and we have two brick walls, so I'll put this other brick and we'll put that next to it. So I might have a double brick wall. This would be used to go through the double brick wall, and then I could poke my 20 mil conduit through the wall. Now the only problem with these, when you're drilling into a brick like this, they create a lot of vibration and they can actually make the brick disintegrate. Does that make sense? So you've got to be very careful when you get big bricks like this and they're very hollow, this going through hammering will actually brick, cause a brick to shatter. So you've got to be very careful. And what the easiest sometimes, the easiest thing to do is you grab a small drill bit like this, you put that through like a pilot drill and anything like a pilot drill helps you open it up. So once the hole's in there, it's very easy then to open it up with a bigger drill bit. So you'll put that one through, then you might open it up with a bigger one. So, but you can see the design to go through brickwork. You normally have a cavity between them, but these quite long drill bits are used for going. You might need to put an earth stake into a, through a concrete um, slab, all right, put the earth rod through. So these are quite long. You can get them longer, but you're talking about very specialized drills and they also cost big money, all right? So we've got these here. We do have the shorter bits as well. So you can see, notice that the drill on this one's like a long, thin flute. This one's very protruded. The actual outside is made to, to actually be scraped to the width of the hole. So it, it basically this, this outer part here, these outer flutes, will support the drill on the hole as it's drilling into the concrete. So as we drill in the concrete, these flutes will hit the outside wall and actually help with the weight of the drill on the end. So it keeps it straight, all right? It's designed, it's the same width, and then it cuts through. All right, so a few different drill bits in there. These are drilled, you've got all your different diner bolts. So you might have different samples. So we've got the large one here, all right? And then we've got terriers and all sorts of other type of stuff. So we'll go through those and we'll see those on the actual information booklet in to do with diner bolts and stuff like that. So as I said, we'll have a look and we'll do some drilling later. I'll come back and we'll show you how we sample. The Ramset catalog is worth going through. That shows you the different types of diner bolts. It's got a how they use, how they fixed and stuff like that. So have a look down on the bottom of um, the Moodle page there, you'll see that it's got a Ramset catalog, go through that, and an anchoring catalog, have a look through that, it's got some good sizes of how they're done. Now the drill bit is always measured on the size, so if you have a look on here, um, some of the bigger ones, we might have M8, alright, and then what you need to do is you need to look for the M8 drill bit, and then what that'll do is that'll have a circle around it, so for example here it'll have a circle M8, and you will drill, so all our diner bolts are based on here, so this one's a 10 mil. 10 millimeter diner bolt and I will look for a 10 millimeter drill bit that will then be matched up to the size of that and what I do is I undo it slide it up slide it up when you're drilling too with these into a hole and drilling into brickwork it's important that you blow the hole out and get rid of all the dust if you don't get rid of all the dust right the powder will sit in the bottom of the hole you'll go to bed bang your diner bolt in into the concrete and it might sit up here and the reason is it's got all the dust in it you need to blow all the dust out of the bottom of the hole, all right? Or you go deeper than what you need for the hole, for the brick. You go deeper, right, than what's required. And as you come back out, all the dust sits down on the bottom and then at least you know the diner bolt's gonna go into where it should. All right, so we'll leave that for the moment. What I wanna do is we'll then the next project we're gonna go through is have a look at how to do our box project, all right? Which is to basically do some basic fix and secure with some electrical components, a little bit of cutting with a handsaw, a little bit of nailing and um, cutting some plaster and some cement sheet. All right, I'll show you that. We'll go through that in step by step so that you guys can get an idea of how to complete the project and we'll go from more there. Um, the main thing is you need to have a go at one of these or this drill bit here and do some fixing secure to the best of block um, for one of your tasks as well. All right, we'll, we'll talk about that later. Okay, thanks.